from other candidates and the same candidates which are at home, mostly the primary six, are uh, current same candidates. We have come again uh, to continue with our topic. So as you know that we look on areas, area by area, it is still the same thing. It is teacher Joseph Wafula coming back in the class with our topic of sound. It is science primary six. The science primary six, but uh, we remember that our topic is what we call sound energy. Uh, our topic is sound energy, that is the topic we are looking at. The topic is sound energy. But remember, when I was here in the previous lesson, we looked at sound, and we said that sound is the form of energy that stimulates the sense of hearing. But still, we talked about how sound is produced, and we said sound is produced by means of vibration. We say that the regular vibration produces what we call, uh, the regular vibration produces the type of sound which we call music, then the irregular vibration uh, produces noise because the interval is not uniform, it produces a uh, noise. Still we looked at what we call the sources of sound and we said uh, the sources of sound, they were uh, very many. Just a point from where sound originates is what we call the source of sound. So a point, an area, the body that produces sound is what we call a source of sound. We looked at the natural sources and the artificial sources of sound. Then, from there still, we looked at the examples of natural sources of sound, the bodies that produce sound by nature are what we call the natural sources of sound. This is just a reminder to what we looked at the other time. Then I told you that when we are looking at that, we say we have the animals, different animals produce sound, and I told you that the animals like the mammals, they produce sound by vibration of their vocal cord. Then we looked at the grasshoppers and the locusts, they produce sound by wrapping their hind legs on the vibrating wings. Still we looked at the bees and mosquitoes, they produce sound by rapid flapping of their wings. We never ended there still. We continued and looked at the birds, and they told that birds produce sound by what we call the vibration of the rings of cartilage uh, so that enables birds to produce sound. Then we looked at the artificial sources of sound where we say that all musical instruments, they are, uh, are artificial sources of sound. We talked about the moving vehicles, the aeroplanes as the artificial sources of sound. So we went ahead still um, reminding you to what we looked at. Uh, we looked at uh, what we call the pitch of sound and we said that a pitch of sound is simply means the highness or the loudness of sound is what we call the pitch of sound and still we say you can say it as high uh, pitch is how high or low sound is then we look at the factors that affect the pitch of sound from there we say there are factors like the length of the string and uh, the amplitude means the size of the vibrating object. We looked at very many things. I believe that we have been making a follow-up and we have been taking the steps from our different clips uh, on our YouTube. So today, let us look at the transmission of sound. The production of sound is reproduced by means of vibration. Why don't we look at the transmission of sound? So uh, we, are, we are writing together, we can get a book and write I uh, will look at the transmission of sound. We look at transmission. We look at transmission of sound. We look at transmission of sound. 
Uh, how the sun travel from one place to another? That is what all about we are looking at. But for me, I say, uh, we can say sound uh, travels in sound waves. Uh, sound travels in a sound waves. Or sound travels through sound waves. Sound travels, sound travels through sound waves. Sound travels through sound waves. Sound travels through sound waves. That is how sound travels. Sound travels through sound waves. That is how sound travels. And it's a travel through the following media. It travels through the following media. Sound travels through the following media. Sound travels. Sound travels through the following media. Through the following media. Uh, this is the following different media uh, in which sound travels. Uh, the first one, we have what we call gases. Then another one is what we call liquids. And another one is what we call solids. So sound travels in different media. Sound travels in liquids, sound travels in gases, sound travels in solids, or what we call a solid material. Gases, uh, when I'm talking about gases, I meaning things like air. Then you talk about liquid, I mean things like water, then solids or the solid materials. We talk about solids or we talk about solid materials. So in this, uh, in this a media sound travel through those different media, but still, still, uh, we can say uh, there's no sound cannot travel here. Sound cannot travel through a vacuum. Yeah? You know it. Just you know this one. I want it, you to know sound does not travel through a vacuum. Sound does not travel. Sound does not travel through. Sound does not travel through a vacuum. Sound does not travel through a vacuum. And the reason is a vacuum has no matter. Sound does not travel through a vacuum because because it has no matter. It has no, or because the vacuum, we can say because the vacuum, sound does not travel through a vacuum, because the vacuum has no matter, has no matter. A vacuum does not have matter. A vacuum doesn't have any means uh, any medium of transmission. So when you look at this one, after knowing that where the sound travel in which media, we say that in air, that is gases, in liquids, that is uh, water. We talk about in soils or in soil materials. Now, it's going to take us in what we call the speed of sound. The speed of sound. You know that in different uh, materials, uh, sound travels at a different speed. Uh, this one is taking uh, us to what we call speed of sound. It takes us to what we call speed of sound. Eh? Sound travels at a different speed in different uh, states of matter. Sound travels at a different speed. Sound travels, uh, sound travels at a different speed. Sound travels at different speed. Sound travels at different speed, at different speed in different states of matter, at different states of matter in different states of matter. That's how sound it travels. And when you talk about A, when you look at gaseous state, gaseous state, sound travels, the speed of sound. In gaseous state uh, or in air is gaseous state is uh, gaseous state is three hundred thirty meters per second. 
That is the speed of sound in gaseous state, 330 meters per second, like in air. This is the speed of sound in air. Then B, which is another state of matter? We look at the liquid state. We look at the liquid state of matter. Sound travels in the liquid state of matter at a speed which is 1,484 meters per second. In the liquid state, sound travels 1,484 meters per second. That is the liquid state. And let us look at another state of matter. There's a state of matter which we call uh, solids. A uh, solid state of matter. In the solid state of matter, or solid material, the solid state, sound travels 1,500 uh, meters per second. Uh, meaning, when you look at this one very well, I uh, will find that in gaseous state is 330 meters per second in liquid state, 1,484 meters per second. Then in the solid state is 1,500 meters per second. We can come up with a conclusion. Which conclusion are we going to talk about? Here we come and say, when you look at the solid state, that is where sound travels very fast. The fastest state in the solid state of matter, 1,500 meters per second. Then in the liquid state, I swear sound travels faster, 1,484 meters per second. Then in the gaseous state, 330 meters per second. So you look at this one, it can easily give you. So we can say, not, not. Uh, something which is very important to know about this one. We say sound travels fast in gases. A uh, sound travels, it does start the one with the high speed. Sound travels fastest, fastest in solids. Sound travels fastest in solids yes fastest in soil then sound travels faster in liquids sound travels faster in liquids then sound travels fast sound travels fast in gases. Sound travels fast in gases. That one gives us a clear way of talking about the travel of sound in the different states of matter. I told you, we can do by seeing what is already here. The speed of sound, how sound travels very, very, very fast. It is very fast in the solid state, 1,500 meters per second, then faster in the liquid state, 1,484 meters per second. 1,484 meters per second. And uh, then when we come here in what we call the gaseous state, 330 meters per second. Sometimes the speed differs, but then sometimes you look for the, what we call the accuracy. So this is our lesson today. I want us to go through transmission of sound, sound travel through sound waves, and sound travel through the following media: gases, liquid, solids. So sound does not travel through a vacuum because the vacuum has no matter, means has no medium of transmission. Speed of sound, sound travels at different speeds in different states of matter. Uh, which states of matter are those ones in different states of matter? One, gaseous state, it travels 330 meters per second. Then in liquid state, it is 1,484 meters per second. Then solid state, 1,500 meters per second. So we come with a conclusion moves very fast or fastest in solids, then faster in liquids and fast or slow in gases. That is our lesson I say. Take care of you. So until we come back to school next time I love you. All the same kind of smart say big up. I love you.